mom died from ALS 26 years ago. And at the time, I found it outrageous that her prognosis and what she had to work with was very much the same that what Lou and Eleanor Gary had in 1939. So I started doing different kinds of advocacy. My, my passions are better clinical research and better public policy. And things sometimes come together there, and it just makes, I think, con some constructive work that we can do. I, I've known CPATH was out there. And it was never really clear to me how they could actually remove some of the barriers between where we are and where we need to be. And I'm literally seeing that in their partnership with NIH and in their ability to handle large data sets and in their credibility with the FDA. I, my background has been in the business world, and everybody knows in a large corporation, data silos just kill you. And most corporations work very hard that there can't be data silos. And when I got to the ALS landscape, we have data silos everywhere. People are trying to get their work done, and I think in many ways they think that if they collaborate and make standards, it'll slow them down. So they've just gone their merry ways, and I think Right now, we're, we're paying the price for it, and we need to fix that, and we need to get, get people out of their silos. And I'm seeing some things happening now where, you know, people talk about harmonizing data, and harmonizing is maybe a gentle word for what we need to do, which is really standardize some things and make sure that people are doing, gathering the right things and doing them in a way that we can, as I say, smush them together so that we can get bigger data sets and more insights from the data we're already gathering.